Tractor Farming Simulator 22 and another video on course play. So this was going to be a video about a whole variety of offset tools um, including rock picking with course play and auto drive. And I've just recorded quite a long video going through that and uh, done a bunch of testing and actually I found it doesn't work very well yet. So uh, course play and auto drive for rock picking still a work in progress what i found is that um so i was using the rock stop mod uh, which is available on github to make the rock picker stop and um, but that also made the auto drive course play workers stop um and then i found that when i was trying to restart auto drive to get it to go and sell the rocks it would come back and start the course at the beginning every time no matter how i set up course play to behave so that was a bit frustrating um, so we're starting again and we've got a nice offset mower here um, because I think that's one of the tools you know one of the offset tools that a lot of people end up using so and as we can see so far course play has not detected our offset so what we're going to do is uh, put that in first our tractor is also dancing about a little bit um, but yeah, the easiest way to put in the offset is to use the uh, HUD and uh, just click the plus or minus key to get your offset so that your box is in pretty much the right place, which that looks like it is about there. Um, we might need a bigger tractor. We'll see how we get on. So we're going to go in to the worker menu as always and create job and cosplay field work. We need to set our target and field positions because I hadn't driven into the field and then open the generator we're going to go for a couple of headlands um, and then we are going to go for spiral I think we'll try a spiral on our field center um, and we'll generate the course so there we go and we're going to go for the wrong one there we go first waypoint and uh, let's get this guy going and see how it goes and we'll also get the waypoints up so what i have found is that that seems to be it seems to ignore the offset to get itself going which is a bit frustrating and obviously with this you probably need to be careful of anything that's around the headland um, because this is Elm Creek and generally the Giants maps don't have to clutter the headland, this will be fine. But yeah, it may be something, if you're on a map like Harmston, you may want to do the first headland yourself the other way. Which is, I think, you know, a farmer in the real world would do that first headland the wrong way and then drive on the cut grass. So, yeah. Actually, it's going to work out that we pick it up anyway with the way course plate does that first headland. And then we're into the body of the field and this is the first time i've done a spiral course and what i'm hoping is it's going to keep us outside as we go around um, we'll see how that works out it looks like it may not um, but yeah the offset tools have re work really well in course play i have found um, particularly the mowers obviously you might have a front mower on there as well I just wanted to show purely the offset mower for this example um, the front mower would make it a little bit nicer I guess in terms of if you are running a standard course because you're going to mow in front of your tractor so you're not going to drive on the grass that you need to cut which in base FS is not a problem but if you had maze plus right not maze plus if you had horse extension which we're not getting in FS 22 but if you had the crop destruction 2.0 um, that the farming agency guys created um, you'd be crushing some of your grass so yeah so you probably wouldn't want to do it this way um, that might be a function of picking clockwise or anti-clockwise and my dogs are being really annoying tonight this is the third attempt at recording a video and the third time they have been barking at me so yeah, but that's, that's how you put the offsets in, just with the uh, the tool down here. Um, what we're going to have a look at now is uh, a plow. So give me a moment and we'll set a plow up. We've got a couple of other little fields up here and we'll see how that goes. The 
just leaving the video recording so we can uh, see what happens whilst I buy the plow. Uh, in fact, we'll just let this finish, I think, because there's not that much left, is there? So uh, it's why I picked these these little fields up at the top of uh, Elm Creek. I think this is supposed to be a sheep farm. Um, but yeah, it, it seems, seems to have done a really good job of managing that. In fact, it's probably not worth us watching the rest of it. Let's let's buy a plow. Uh, so I am thinking that we will look at one of the mid-sized plows. Why can I not see plows? There we go. Um, so we're going to go for this guy, the two and a half meter Agramaz. I'm going to say so. We're going to need 160 horsepower for that guy. Maybe a small tractor. Maybe a small class. Yeah, that'll do the job. 185 horsepower. Let's lease that, and we'll need to get ourselves a front weight to put on that as well. And you can just see course players just finished mowing the grass for us, which is awesome. That's probably quite a big weight. Uh, there we go, 900. Maybe that bit heavier. That's quite a big front weight. But hey, um, so yeah, the mowing has worked pretty well, I think. Let's jump in our class arium 650 nice little tractor and so the nice thing about plows is course play automatically does all the offsetting for you it in fact blocks you from changing the offset so you can see that um down in the little window in the bottom it's gone to auto for the horizontal and vertical tool offsets we'll jump to this field because it's nice and small and uh, we'll get into the worker menu and create a job and field work course plan because I'm in the field we don't need to worry about setting the targets so headlands probably three um, headland corners we'll do as sharp and we will do field center as up down and we will start on the center let's generate the course let me just need to chop across a bit and uh, change that to first waypoint and hit go. And you can see that course play has laid the box for the tool pretty much perfectly over the plow. Um, so for the mower, we had to manually do the offset for plows, it's automatic. Um, for the rock picker, when I was playing with that, I had to manually do the offset. And uh, yeah, I just got frustrated with that, and it wasn't a video I was happy with. So we're doing this one instead, which is going to be a little bit shorter, probably a little bit more tolerable for you guys to watch. Um, yeah, we'll just let this guy turn and start his next run, and we can talk about a couple of little issues that you might see. So I, we we sometimes miss little bits with the plow. Actually, course play is backing up here, which is awesome because that should be picked up by the headland. I have seen it occasionally misses things, particularly with the bigger plows. And I'm um, just looking at that field of sunflowers is probably a good target. So we are going to add in a bit more cash with good old power tools. Buy ourselves that field of sunflowers. Um, and get a bigger plow and we'll plow that in and you maybe see with that the problem that i'm talking about if it still happens so we'll get the lemkin and um, so it's, it seems to be with these two stage plows um like this so we'll buy that and we need a 300 horsepower tractor go into the medium tractors that should get us a nice 300 horsepower jobby uh, But I don't have the Deutz 9 series installed on here. No. Nope. Let's go for a 7R. That'll do nicely. A bit more power. And uh, buy that. And you can see the uh, 
the little Aryan is doing a great job there of uh, managing the offset and rotating the plow for us each time. So let's jump into the 7R. Slightly bigger beast. We'll just have a look at how this bigger plow works. So I'm awful with names. I was chatting to someone on either YouTube or Discord about this before and uh, what we were both finding is that the plow would get stuck in the half rotated position so in the position that it's in now um, when you would get to a headland and so you'd stop plowing basically I've just driven into the field to make it easier to generate the course we'll do create a job course play field work and we want three headlands start working on center uh, and corner smooth is fine i'm going to suggest that it skips no we won't do skip rows uh, it's been a long day and my brain is a little bit frazzled Actually, it's been three really long days um, of traveling with work and working once I have traveled to the places. And uh, yeah, my brain is a little bit frazzled. But we are pretty much on our start point there ish. So we're going to right click so we can get the cursor up, left click on here to get first waypoint, and hit go. And you can see the course plate has again nicely created the work area for the plow. Um, not the best shape field to demonstrate this on maybe because the first few rows will be really short but well uh, we'll just see how this goes smaller fields are better because you get to see more of the job but smaller fields are worse because the tractor has to work harder to turn around and course play has to work harder i guess to uh, to do the maneuvers we'll just let this guy do his thing and uh, it looks like the axion's getting onto the headlands maybe Let's just jump over there. Not quite, but he's doing a brilliant job, as you can see. Um, these big offset plows are tricky. Um, I hate driving with them. So if course play does a half decent job, I'll be amazed because I find them really difficult to uh, maneuver in the field, even with GPS on. Um, they just seem to have a mind of their own. So I'm going to forgive Courseplay if it has a few little funnies. But we'll just see how it gets on for the first chunk of this field. Um, something that I'm planning to do still. Um, I'm having to remember because I've been recording this video twice. One of the things I'm planning to do still is a full cycle of a field from freshly harvested. Do all of the field prep, all of the field work right through to harvested using auto drive and Courseplay as much as possible. I'm going to do that as a mini series, so it'll probably be like a three or four video series. Um, not a proper let's play, but just seeing how much we can do with auto drive and course play. Um, and just take you through each of the steps. So we will we'll start from harvested, mulch, lime, plow, fertilize, roll, seed, seed then roll, um, fertilize again, harvest, and sell crop. Um, I don't normally mulch personally, but yeah, we're going to go through all of those steps. And here you can see what, I've been, what I was chatting about, thinking that with these big plows, we seem to miss bits occasionally. And if you really want to use coarse play with plowing, I would suggest either use a GT plow. Got one installed here. There are a few about something like this nice square plow or use two of the slightly smaller ones. Because, um, yeah, Cosplay seems to still struggle with these gigantic plows. As I said, I find them really hard to drive with. So, uh, the fact that Cosplay struggles, I'm not going to hold it against it. These things are a beast to maneuver. Um, and you know, maybe you, if you had a huge field, maybe you would want to let course play do this and then you just go in and tidy up afterwards because you know, the, the long rows on here are not very long. 
and you wouldn't use a plow this big in a field this size but you know, if you really had a big field then maybe you would uh, you would want to use course play with this and you can just do the extra bits you need to do to tidy up but you can already see it's going to have a similar missed part in the next row and it's got them there as well um, so gigantic plows still need a bit of work but if we hop over to the Aryan, this guy is crushing it he's uh he should by the looks of it be into his headlands now i think uh, auto save is kicking in yeah so the Aryan is onto its headlands you can see that the uh, the bit that it looks like it's maybe missed there is actually going to be a headland so this yeah, this guy is going to knock this field out completely now. We've got some sharp turns, but I think at um, and I can't remember now if I've recorded this in one hit, but we're at about 16 minutes plus, I think. So I think you get the gist of this. Offset mowers manually set the offset, and they seem to uh, do a great job. Plows automatic offset. Um, the smaller plows work better. I've tested not. I've tested the, the Agramaz and the Cavernland and they both seem to work really well. The Pottinger is too small. Um, the bigger plows seem to struggle a bit. Cheaty plows, absolutely fine. Uh, use a cheaty plow. Uh, rock picker, manually set the offset. Mm, the interaction between... You're relying on three scripted mods to get that to work because you need not only course plate and auto drive, you need the rock picker stop mod um so yeah that's still a, a work in progress i think about how all of those interact personally i prefer to plow which means i can roll my stones um i prefer to plow because it means i don't get weeds and so yeah that's why i am less fussed about rock picking personally because having done it once i uh i roll my stones in So yeah, the uh, the Aryan is just going to work its way through the headlands now. I don't think there's going to be any problems with that. The Lemkin you can see on the back of the 7R is basically just leaving these fairly big runs. And you're going to get most of it with the headland. It's just that kind of little V shape is still going to be there. And... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run and I'll come back to you when it's finished and we'll see how good a job it's done. Let's do that. So we're back. That took a little while, but um, you can see we are on the first headland and actually we're cleaning up most of that mist crop. Um, it's going to be a bit of a pain to get those bits that have been missed, but if you had a really big field which is you know what this plow is designed for those would be a lot smaller fraction of the field compared to what they are for this field so it, it does it feels like it needs a little bit of work but not a lot um probably just needs the tractor to back up a little more before it um kicks in to doing that up down row but otherwise i think it's done a cracking job um and if we jump over to the Aryan, that's done a perfect job of completely ploughing the field. Um, so it's definitely, you know, the mowing worked really well. The small plough worked really well. The uh, the mid-sized plough, the next one up, the Cavernland, works really well. Um, just this big, bigger ploughs are still, still have a few teething issues. I'm assuming it would be the same for the big Cavernland plough as well. Um... But yeah, yeah, it's missed a couple of bits. It's not the end of the world. So I think at that point, we'll probably call it a day here. So thanks for watching, folks. If you found this vaguely useful, uh, click the like button. If you're not subscribed, you know, turn on notifications for my daily farms and videos. Um, interested to chat to people in the comments about what they thought about this, particularly the issue with this big Lemkin plow. If they've got any tips for dealing with that, not dealing with those missed sections. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you next time on FS22.